Peace, and welcome to Oddly Familiar. Today we have a bunch of video game themes that sound like Rydeen by Yellow Magic Orchestra. Big shout out to Scotty the Great One. Our list today was compiled by both of us. He had some, I had some, so we combined them and created this list. We would also like to announce the new Oddly Scale. The scale of Oddly Familiarity 2.0 will be ranking using a 1 through 5 scale. And now, here's Oddly Familiar Rydeen Themes. Rydeen is a song by Yellow Magic Orchestra on their Solid State Survivor album which was released on September 25th of 1979. 2023 wasn't a good year for YMO. Two of the three members passed away. The legends Ryuichi Sakamoto and Yukihiro Takahashi. May they rest in peace. The remaining member is Haruomi Hosono, who we have talked about before, because in 1984 he helped produce the first video game music album ever, simply titled Video Game Music. The track Raideen was written by Yukihiro Takahashi, and it went on to be quite successful. Here's a quick snippet before we dive deep. The first game we have found it in comes from 1982, and it's a unique double whammy. Here's Super Locomotive by Sega. On our newfound oddly scale, we have this a 5 out of 5. This could be the most similar track that I have ever heard that's not a sample. The game was originally released in arcades in Japan only, however in 2022 the Sega Genesis Mini 2 was released and Super Locomotive is one of the games. And that brings us to the second part of our double whammy. The Raideen cover was removed and replaced with Raizine by Oriental Magnetic Yellow, a Yellow Magnetic Orchestra parody group. I do believe you will start to see this happen more and more. Old themes that, if released nowadays, might cause some legal issues, so they are better off not taking the chance and removing them. On the oddly scale, this one gets a 4 out of 5. It's a chiptune cover of a parody. Our next entry is from the Commodore 64 game, Troopa Truck. On the oddly scale of familiarity 2.0, this one gets a 4 out of 5. Released in 1983, the Troopa Truck game was published by Rabbit Software. Created by John F. Kane, he's also the composer of the game. According to MobyGames.com, he has 28 credits on 18 games. There's some pretty popular games in there too, including Frogger and Marble Madness. Last thing I need to mention, what is going on over here? It looks like an out of proportion TIE Fighter. Next up is another Commodore 64 theme, from Daily Thompson's Decathlon, the loading screen theme. This one has an interesting story. This theme was produced by Martin Galway. I looked him up online, and one of the first things I see is this post about Rydeen and how it inspired him to get into video game music. So I knew I was on the right track, and I sent a message. Well, luckily, he messaged us back and gave us the full, in-depth story. And here it is, narrated by Phil Mann. I first heard Rydeen on TV during the final few weeks of 1979. In England, the Granada TV station was running a compilation trailer for new shows. Coming up next year in 1980, they used Rydeen in the background of their trailer. Cool tune! 
I had no idea it was Rydeen, or that it was by YMO. A few days into 1980, they stopped running the trailer and I thought I'd never hear it again. Fast forward a few years and I had been noting which arcade games had the best music. The reigning champ was Gallagher with its short ditties. Until Super Locomotive hit the Manchester arcades and obliterated the competition. <laughs> that tune was like a full-on disco built into the game. I was hooked. And I recognised it from the Granada TV trailer some years ago. Still didn't know who it was by. In approximately 1982, I was learning to program in high school and decided to implement this tune in BBC Basic. I brought a portable cassette recorder into the arcade and recorded the music from the game while I was playing it. In order to get an entire recording of the tune, I had to be successful at playing the game. It was difficult to say the least, and I was never able to manage it. So my recordings only ever had the first 80% or so of Rydeen. I was able to fudge the final 20% from memory and basically guesswork. I implemented it as a BBC Basic program, and later re-implemented that as a 6502 assembly language program on the BBC. When I was trying to get to work at Ocean Software, David Collier sat me down one afternoon and said, can you put in some loading music for Daily Thompson's Decathlon? I was not at home and could not refer to my BBC program, did it for memory. That's why it's a pretty rough arrangement. Thank you, Mr. Man. I do gotta say, that's pretty impressive on a few levels. The dedication to take a recorder into the arcade and to try and get as far into the game as you can just to hear the music. The next game up is the BBC micro game Strikers Run, the intro screen theme. So, in an interesting twist, this one was also by Martin Galway. So again, let's hear what he has to say. Voiced by Mr. Phil Mann. My school pal, Chris Roberts, needed music for his game Strikers Run. So, that's how the tune got put in there. I basically gave him my assembler source code for the tune. There was no attempt to license the tune, as I really didn't know who the original author was. Note, all my arrangements were rearrangements of the Super Locomotive arrangement. I did not know that the original tune was Rydeen, or that I could go down to the record store and buy it. I knew who Yellow Magic Orchestra was at this time, but I was not buying many of their records. They had a medium-sized hit in the UK charts called Firecracker, which got them on my radar. And later, in the 80s, I bought a YMO CD that didn't have Rydeen on it. There was no World Wide Web to learn all this stuff from. It took me until 1993, when I was browsing CDs in a record store in Austin, Texas, USA, and I bought a YMO Best Of compilation CD. I put it into my car while driving home from work, and you would not believe the look on my face when the Super Locomotive tune blurted out mid-album. That's when I first found out the name of the tune, Rydeen, and that it was by YMO. Chris Roberts and I were still working together at the time on Wing Commander 3. I played it for him the next day and he recognised it. All water under the bridge from a licensing perspective. All sorts of electronic music was being used for inspiration, or flat out getting ripped off back then. Impossible now, of course. Thank you again, Mr. Man. I do gotta say, that's a cool story. I know the feeling of finding a song after looking for it for a very long time, but this is next level. You like a song enough to be inspired to get into video game music, and then more than a decade later, you buy the CD, get into your car, and on it comes. I can only imagine the feeling as the realization sets in, this is Super Locomotive. Also big thanks to Mr. Galway. Not only did he respond, he gave us the whole rundown. That was very cool. Music 
Up next we have the 1987 Famicom game, Ginga no Sanin, the battle theme. So this one is an interesting one. Out of all the ones we have found, this isn't the most similar to Raideen. However, there's one key piece of information that stands out. This theme was composed by Yukihiro Takahashi, the member of Yellow Magic Orchestra who wrote Raideen. So this isn't just some coincidence. Takahashi has at least five video games under his belt, and in an interesting move, he included four different versions. Each one is a little bit slower than the last. On the oddly scale, this one receives a 4 out of 5. It's not a cover, and just seems to borrow a smaller portion. Next is the Super Famicom game, New Gear, Umi to Kaze no Kodo, a theme titled, A Dark Dimension. Another video game soundtrack composed by Yukihiro Takahashi. If you don't know who he is by now, I suggest rewinding the video and starting over. As the writer of Raideen, he's free to use that melody pretty much any time he wants. Although on this theme, he tamed it down a little and the real similarity is in the drums and the bass line. On the oddly scale, we have it a 3 out of 5. I could even see as low as 2 out of 5 if it wasn't for the fact it's by the exact same composer. Up next is the most popular game on our list today, and I don't think that's even close. From Chrono Trigger, here's one titled World Revolution. From the 1995 SNES game, and if you follow the channel, you know one of our favorite composers around here is Yasunori Mitsuda. And this, in my opinion, is one of his best soundtracks. This might be the biggest stretch on the list today, so on the oddly scale we have this one a 2 out of 5. It's not a cover, and it's not even really about the notes, but it's all about the feel. Our last one today comes from Toho One, highly responsive to prayers, a theme titled Strange Oriental Discourse. On the new oddly scale, we have this one a 4 out of 5. It's not exact, but if the name of the track wasn't a hint, then it's quite easy to hear the inspiration once the theme gets going. Arranged and composed by Zun, I believe he did all of the music in pretty much every Toho game. Released in 1996, this is the first in a long line of games. Just from a quick search, Google shows well over 30 Toho games. And they usually have great music. So let me thank everyone who helped out on this episode. Martin Galway for his participation and story, Phil Mann for his voice talents, Quantum X for linking us up with Mr. Mann, Scotty the Great One for his idea and submissions, and last but not least, our Golden Tier patrons, Bearsona, Quantum X again, MJJ, and Sloper Ride Johnson. I am ICC, 
Thanks for watching. Peace.